animal kingdom when you look around you will observe different animals with different structures and form as over a million species of animals have been described till now the need for classification becomes almost important the classification also helps in assigning systematic position to newly described species levels of organization in animals all the members of animal kingdom are multicellular heterotrophic eukaryotes but all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells the cells in their body are of several types these are organized into many functional units of progressively increasing complexity first is cellular level in this level the body shows some division of labor among cells they are remarkably independent and can change their form and function and it is found in sponges and the next is the tissue level the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence it is called as tissue level of organization example in sealant traits the arrangement of cells is more complex and the next is organ level plasty helminthes and higher phyla tissues are grouped together to form organs and each specialized for a particular function that is organ level organization is present and the next is organ system level in animals like annelids arthropods molluscs echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional system each system concerned with a specific physiological function this is called as organ system level of organization symmetry symmetry is an attribute where something is the same on both the sides of an axis symmetry is of two types one is asymmetrical another is symmetrical asymmetrical means animals in which any plane passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves such animals are called as asymmetrical example sponges and in symmetrical the body of some animals can be divided into two similar equal halves by one and or more planes such animals are called as symmetrical the symmetry is divided into radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry radial symmetry means when any plane passing through the central axis of the body divided the organisms into two identical halves example cilentrates tenophores and echinoderms and the next is bilateral symmetrical in some animals body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane this is called as bilateral symmetry example annelids and arthropods diploplastic and triploplastic organization germ layers are group of cells behaving as a unit during early stages of embryonic development so diploblastic means animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called as diploblastic animals and in triploblastic animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer called as mesoderm in between the ectoderm and the endoderm coelom the body cavity between the body wall and gut wall which is lined between the mesoderm is called as the coelom presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important classification animals possessing coelomes are called as coelomates example annelids molluscs arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates in some animals 
the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm present as scattered pouches between the ectoderm and the endoderm such a body cavity is called as pseudocoelom and the animal possessing them are called as pseudocoelomates example ascelmenthes the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called as acelomates example platyhelminthes this animal body is classified on the basis of body plan one is cell aggregated plan second is blind sac plan and the third is tube within a tube plan cell aggregate plan means they lack any tissues or organs example sponges blind sac plants means these cells are arranged into tissues single opening of the body for ingestion and ejection example coelenterates and flatworms are and the tube with a tube plan is level of organization is organ system and proper digestive canal is present having two openings one for ingestion and other for ejection this occurs in two ways one is protostomes and then second is deuterostomes protostomes means mouth develops from blastophore region and the anus develops later example annelids molluscs and arthropods deuterostomes means anus develops first from blastopore region and the mouth develops later example echinoderms and chordates segmentation body is externally and internally divided into segment metameric segmentation and pseudo metamerism segmentation that simultaneously divide body both externally and internally is called as metamerism or metameric segmentation and whereas this pseudo metamerism means it is found in tapeworm the body is divided into parts or segments called as proglottide they develop from the neck but are nor embryonic in origin noto cord cartilaginous skeletal rod supporting in the body in all embryonic and some adult chordate animals it is mesodermally derived rod like structure found on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals animals with notochord are called as chordate and those animals which do not form this structures are called as non chordates example porifera to echinoderms they are non chordate other important feature cephalization it is a differentiation of head and anterior part of the body it involves the concentration of nervous tissue and sense organisms in the head and the other is the appendages the projecting structure of the body that perform specific functions like locomotion capturing of food sensation etc are called as appendages example wings fins limbs tentacles parpodia setae etc and the next is digestive system Digestive tract is a passage through which food is taken in for digestion, absorption and ejection. The digestive tract that has a single opening for both ingestion and ejection is called as incomplete digestive tract. Example in flatworms and coelenterate. And the next is respiratory system. the tiny aquatic animals like amoeba hydra respire through the body surface this is called as body surface respiration larger aquatic animals have special organs called gills for respiration this is called branchial respiration example in prawns fishes and 
muscles the land animals respire through their lungs this is called as pulmonary respiration it occurs in frogs snails lizards birds and mammals in animals like earthworm leech frog etc moist skin acts as a respiratory surface and this is called as cutaneous respiration circulatory system the circulatory system is responsible for the transport of materials in the body it consists of fluid blood vessels and the heart in insects such as prawn and pillar blood is colorless that contains hemocyanin a copper containing pigment while in vertebrates blood contains hemoglobin which is an iron containing pigment excretory system the excretion occurs in different ways in different organisms first is aminotelic the excretory product here is amino acids example starfish ammonotelic means the excretory product of an organism is ammonia example most invertebrates and some molluscs urotelic the excretory product of an organisms is urea example cartilaginous fishes snail prawn mammals and aquatic reptiles uricotelic the excretory product of an organism is uric acid example insects terrestrial crustaceans lizards snakes birds etc the excretory organs are absent in those organisms where organization level is below the tissue level here each individual cell takes part in excretion in animals like sponges cilentrates and all the cells are in contact with water excretion occurs by general body surface and the next is nerve system the nervous system is the aggregation of nerve cells or neurons that help in coordinating and controlling various activities of the body endocrine system the endocrine glands are also called as ductless glands these secrete hormones endocrine glands occur in all vertebrates and occur in some invertebrates only sensory system this system consists of specialized cells tissues and organs which can pick up a stimulus and transmit the same to the nervous system sensory system consists of different structures in different organisms example antenna and tentacle skeletal system its skeletal system is hard and the internal or external framework provides the support and shape to the body it is divided into two one is endoskeleton is internal exoskeletal means external exoskeleton it is the hard supporting and protective framework present on the exterior of the body it is made up of non living matter example external shells of molluscs cuticle of arthropods scales of fishes and reptiles feathers of birds hairs hooves nails horns and claws of mammals exoskeleton it is hard supporting framework present in the interior of the body in invertebrates such as sponges it is made up of all calcareous or siliceous spicules in vertebrates it is composed of hard living tissues called as cartilages and bones endoskeleton supports the whole body of an organism and the next is sex animals generally have sex organs to produce reproduce sexually when both male and female sex organs are 
found in the same individual it is called as hermaphrodite or bisexual or monoecious example liver fluke tapeworm earthworm leech etc reproduction there are two types of fertilization one is internal and external and in case of reproduction it is of sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction asexual reproduction it is a kind of reproduction that does not involves the fusion of gametes it is found in lower animals like sponges cilantrates annelids and platyhelminthes in sexual reproduction it involves the formation and fusion of gametes the male gametes called as sperms are motile while the female gametes called ovum are generally non motile fertilization is of two types one is external another is internal fertilization in external fertilization it occurs in animals like many invertebrates some marine fishes and most amphibians shed both eggs and sperms into the water where fertilization and development occur this is called as external fertilization in internal fertilization it occurs in land animals and some aquatic animals the sperms are introduced by the male into reproductive tract of female during copulation this is called as internal fertilization so the animal kingdom is divided into two non chordates and chordates non chordates or non chordata the animal kingdom includes about 35 phyla out of which 11 are considered as major phyla animals can be classified into two major groups on the presence or absence of notochord non chordata means absence of notochord chordata means presence of notochord they can be also classified on the basis of presence or absence of vertebral column that is the backbone into invertebrates and vertebrates invertebrates means without backbone vertebrates means with backbone the non chordata includes the following phyla the first phylum in non chordata is phylum porifera this includes the first and the most primitive group of multicellular animals referred to as poriferans that is pore bearing animals they are primitive multicellular animals and are commonly called as sponges they are mostly marine and some are fresh water habitat found in ponds and lakes example spongilla the size of sponges ranges from 1 cm to 1 m in length some of them have vase like cylindrical shape and majority have irregular shape the body wall contains outer dermal layer or pinacoderm and inner gastral layer of coanderm and the pinacoderm contains flat cells called as pinacocytes pinacocytes sponges have cellular level of organization the cells are almost independent that is cooperating very little with one another in function these are diploblastic having ectoderm and endoderm it is internal and includes inorganic spicules and organic sponging fibers canal system is the network of channels called as canals which connect the spongocele to the outside through ostia digestion in animals of this phylum is intracellular in nature and the amoeboid cell transport food from ingesting cells to other cells it occurs through the body surface by diffusion it also occurs through the body surface by diffusion in the form of ammonia sponges lack sensory and nerve cells 
so they are poor in response to stimuli sponges reproduce both sexually and asexually asexual reproduction occurs by budding or gemmules or internal buds sexual reproduction involves the fusion of ova and spermatozoa fertilization and development fertilization is internal that is sperms of one sponge are carried by water current to the ova of another sponge for in situ fertilization development is mostly indirect with larval stages called as parenchymula or amphiblastula phylum coelenterata there are about 9000 species of the name nidaria is derived from the stinging cell nidarians are exclusively of marine forms example oblia aurella pisalia metridium but few of them are fresh water they have tissue grade organization coelenterates are diploblastic a coelenteron or gastrovascular cavity is present which is blind at one end and opens as mouth or hypostome at other end the mouth is surrounded by thin long slender hollow structures called as tentacles their function is to paralyze and capture the prey attachment defense and offense a horny or calcareous exoskeleton as well as endoskeleton in is present in many cases the coelenterates with exoskeleton of cal calcareous carbonate are called as corals exchange of gases and excretion occurs directly as all the cells are in direct contact with water sensory cells occurs in the body wall such as stratocyte for balancing and for photosensitivity nervous system is in the form of nerve net that is the unipolar neurons are loosely arranged in the body wall polymorphism nidarians are mainly of two types of individuals one is polyp that is cup shaped and another is medusa which is umbrella shaped coelenterates reproduce both by asexual and sexual methods in in many nidarians the polyps usually reproduce asexually by budding to give rise to medusa fertilization may be external or internal the nidarians complete their life cycle through two phases example asexually reproducing polyp phase and sexually reproducing the medusa phase phylum tenophora phylum tenophora or comb jellies or sea walnuts are exclusively marine forms these are found in solitary pelagic or free swimming they are diploblastic with two layers that is the ectoderm and the endoderm and they are acelomate with tissue grade of organization body is soft delicate transparent and gelatinous like jellyfishes without segmentation they are bilaterally symmetrical and the arrangement of comb plates gives the appearance of radial symmetry the tentacles and branching of gastrovascular canals show bilateral symmetry digestion is both extracellular and intracellular skeletal circulatory and respiratory and uh, and uh, excretory system are absent respiration and excretion occurs through general body surface it consists of nerve cells with an a boral sense organ called as stratocyte for balance reproduction and development they are hermaphrodite or monoecious gonads are endodermal 
and fertilization is generally external. Phylum platyhelminthes. Phylum platyhelminthes includes flatworms. The group includes the first simplest triploblastic group of animals. Some important general features of phylum platyhelminthes are majority of them are parasitic. Example, tapeworms, liver fluke and blood flukes and they are living life forms. The body is bilaterally symmetrical with definite orientation like anterior and posterior end. They are acelomate and the space between the body wall and the body organ is filled by characteristic connective tissue called as parenchyme or mesenchyme. Digestive system is very simple and incomplete with only one opening called as mouth. The anus is absent. Respiration occurs through general body surface and the excretory system consists of flame cells that help in osmoregulation and excretion. Nervous system is a ladder like and consists of a brain and two main longitudinal nerve cords joined at intervals by the transverse commissures. Reproduction the flatworms are hermaphrodite and monoecious or bisexual having both male and female reproductive system in one. Fertilization often includes one or more type of fertilization. Phylum Ascalmenthes. Phylum Ascalmenthes or Nemanthelmenthes or nemato Nematoda includes the round worms. They are mostly free living and may occur in water or within the soil. They show bilateral symmetry and have organ system level of organization. They are triploblastic animals and have tube within the tube body plan. The body wall contains an outer cuticle, syncytial epidermis and a muscular layer. Circular muscles are absent. Ascalmenthes are pseudocelomates as the cavity present between the body wall and gut is not lined by mesodermal epithelium. Alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. Excretory system consists of a pair of gland cells or a intracellular canals or both. Nervous system contains a nerve ring around the pharynx with dorsal and ventral longitudinal nerve cords running throughout the length of the body. Reproduction is only by sexual method. So the sexes are separate and exhibit sexual dimorphism. Fertilization is usually internal. The fertilized egg develop directly or indirectly through larvae that undergo mouthling and finally grow into adults. Disease caused by ascalmenthes include giant intestinal roundworm is a para endoparasite of the small intestine of the human. It causes ascariasis. Ucheria or filarial worm is an endoparasite in the lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes of humans. It causes elephantitis in the legs, arms, scrotum, etc. Ancyclostomata or hookworm is the endoparasite in the small intestine of humans. It causes ancyclostomiosis disease. Phylum annelida. Phylum annelida includes segmented worms. The term annelida was first coined by Lamarck in 1809. It includes about 12,000 species of animals. They may be aquatic or terrestrial and free living or parasitic. The outermost covering of body is thin and moist cuticle secreted by the epidermis. The body is divided into segments 
or metamers by ring like grooves and it is called as metameric segmentation annelids are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic animals with three layers that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm they show organ system level of organization and tube with a tube plan these show a true cephalization annelids have a true coelom and therefore they are called as coelomate animals it is formed by splitting of mesodermal epithelium and such as a coelom called as cisocoelom the coelomic fluid in the body cavity acts as hydrostatic skeleton for the animals annelids move by paired lateral hollow fleshy appendages in each segment which is called as parapodia or chitinous cite the digestive tract is straight and complete starting from mouth and ending at the anus respiration occurs through skin gills or parapodia circulatory system they have they are the first animals that have a circulatory closed circulatory system that is the blood flows through the system of blood vessels excretory organs are nephridia in each segment which helps in excretion and osmo regulation nervous system it contains a nerve ring around the pharynx and a double ventral nerve cord with ganglion annelids reproduce sexually they are unisexual example nereus and bisexual hermaphrodite example leech and earthworm phylum arthropoda phylum arthropoda arthro means jointed poda means foot so therefore it is called as jointed foot which includes the first and the simplest segmented animals they are aquatic or terrestrial they may occur as free living or parasitic forms example bed bugs ticks mosquitoes etc the body is segmented externally it has distinct head thorax and abdomen head bears many fused segments and sense organs arthropods are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic with organ system level of organization they have jointed paired appendages which are present in some or all somites or segments they perform various functions like walking clinking jumping feeding etc the exoskeleton is formed of thick tough and non living chitinous cuticle the exoskeleton protects animals from mechanical and chemical injuries which prevents desiccation and also helps in attachment locomotion jointed appendages help in locomotion cilia are present cilia are found to be absent in arthropod digestive system alimentary canal is complete and well developed that is divided into foregut midgut and hindgut respiration it occurs through general body surface gills in prawns and book lungs in scorpion and spider through trachea in cockroaches and book gills in king crab the excretory organs are malphigian tubules opening into duct or green glands opening directly to the exterior the nervous system consists of a nerve ring and a double ganglionated ventral nerve cord arthropods reproduce by sexual methods fertilization is usually internal types they are generally oviparous but few are viviparous example scorpion phylum arthropoda is divided into five classes 
class crustacea example palamon that is prawn and crab class myriapoda example millipede and centipede economical important of insects are apes which is a honey bee bombax lacifer sorry bombax the silk worm lacifer the lac insect limulus that is king crab is a living fossil from orthopoda phylum phylum mollusca they are mostly of marine forms and some are fresh water example unico and pila they are generally bilateral symmetrical and some are asymmetrical due to torsion animals show similar twisting during growth they are unsegmented soft body covered by a calcareous shell which is differentiated into head muscular foot and visceral hump molluscs generally have a shell as exoskeleton in octopus the shell is absent the coelom is greatly reduced also although they are eucoelomate the digestive tract is complete and the mouth contains a rasping organ called as radula with file like transverse row of chitinous teeth and is opens into the mantle cavity it is the interstitial forms respiration occurs through lungs the in aquatic forms respiration occurs through feather like gills or tinidia excretion a pair of kidneys or organs or bojenes or kebbers organs are present the open type of circulation is present here and the coelom is called as hemocecal nervous system few pairs of ganglia like cerebral visceral and pedal with nerves are present reproduction molluscs reproduce sexually sexes are separate and mostly oviparous fertilization is external and internal phylum echinodermata phylum echinodermata means echinos means spines derma means skin which includes the spiny skinned animals these animals have a endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata all are marine with organ system level of organization the adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic and coelomate animals digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower side and the anus on the upper side the most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion capture and transport of food and respiration an excretory system is absent and sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva examples asterias echinus antidon cucumeria and opiura phylum hemichordata hemi means half chordate means notochord so half notochord was earlier placed as a subphylum under phylum chordata but now it is considered as a separate phylum under non chordata these are also called as half chordate they are exclusively marine and mostly live in burrows they are by they are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic they have a soft body cylindrical and unsegmented body is divisible into probiosis collar and trunk digestive system is complete and respiration occurs through several pairs of gill slits or through the general body surface it is a open type circulatory system and it contains a dorsal heart excretory system consists of a 
proboscis gland and nervous system since it is primitive consists mainly of an intraepidermal nerve plexus sensory cells of the epidermis acts as a sense organ reproduction is usually sexual and the sexes are separate and the development is indirect with larval stage example balanoglossus and saccologlossus chordata animals belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and a pair of phalangeal gill slits notochord is a solid rod like structure present on the dorsal side of the body nerve cord is a hollow tube like structure present on the dorsal side of the body pharyngeal gill slits are like paired openings formed on the lateral side of the pharynx that communicate to the exterior post anal tail is reduced in some adults and found in majority of chordates it is a solid slender and structure formed at the posterior end of the body after the anus a ventral heart and a closed circulatory system is present hemoglobin is present in red blood corpuscles hepatic portal system is also present digestive system is also present excretion occurs through kidneys differences between chordates and not chordates in chordates notochord is present but whereas in non chordates notochord is absent in chordates the central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single in non chordates the nervous system is ventral solid and double in chordates pharynx perforated by gill slits but here the gill slits are absent heart is ventral in chordates heart is dorsal if it is present in non chordates a post anal part tail is present in chordates but in non chordates the post anal tail is absent classification of phylum chordata the phylum chordata is divided into th three subphyla that is uh, the first one is urochordata that is tunicata and the second one is the cephalochordata and the third is the vertebrata subphylum urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as a pro protochordates and they are exclusively marine subphylum urochordata the body is covered by testa composed largely of tunicin so they are commonly called as tunicates the notochord is present only in the tail of the larvae and it disappears in the adult stage coelom is absent digestive system is complete respiratory system has two to numerous gill slits in the pharyngeal wall circulatory system is open and has a simple tubular heart larva undergoes retrogressive metamorphosis example acidia hermania salpa doliolum subphylum cephalochordata in cephalochordates the notochord extends the entire length of the body and passes the head of the nerve cord in front notochord persists throughout the life a true enterocoelom is present it is however reduced in the pharyngeal region of atrium example branchiostoma that is amphioxus phylum vertebrata the subphylum vertebrata represents advanced or higher chordates which includes vertebrates or craniates notochord is present only in the embryonic stage in adults it is replaced by vertebral column consisting of ring like bones called as vertebrata circulatory system is closed type with ventrally situated heart and a hepatic portal system the respiratory 
the respiratory pigment hemoglobin and portal hepatic system is present respiratory sac pigment hemoglobin is present in blood corpuscles excretory organs consist of a pair of kidneys and they are unisexual and lack asexual reproduction classification of subphylum vertebrata subphylum vertebrata is divided into two main divisions that is agnantha and a nantha stomata agnantha means jawless vertebrata and where is this nantha stomata means which bears jaws and that nantha stomata is divided into two main super classes example pieces and tetrapoda further these super classes has six main classes and which is given in the slide that is tetrapoda it divides into amphibia reptiles aves and mammals and whereas in pieces it is class chondrichthyes and osteochthyes and this agnatha is divided into only one class that is cyclostomata class cyclostomata this includes round mouthed fishes they are also called as jawless fishes as they have a sucking mouth without jaws they are marine and the body of cyclostomes is elongated smooth and has paired fins and are without scales the cranium and vertebral columns are cartilaginous example petromyzon that is lamprey and myxin hackfish all living members of the class cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes they have an elongated body bearing 16 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws their body is devoid of scales and paired fins cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous circulation is of closed type cyclostomes are marine but migrate for swamping to fresh water after swamping within a few days they die swamping means relax of sperm into the environment their larvae after metamorphosis metamorphosis means immature to adult form they return to the ocean example petromyzon lamprey and myxin hackfish class chondrichthyes they have over 600 species including shark rays and skates they are called as cartilaginous fishes due to the presence of cartilaginous skeleton they are mostly marine called poikilothermic animals they have the capacity to regulate their body temperature the body is laterally compressed and spindle shaped notochord is persistent throughout their life mouth is ventral in position and the skin is tough containing minute placoid scales and teeth are modified into placoid scales they have a strong jaw and are predatory by nature gill slits are generally of five pairs the gills covering the operculum are absent in these type heart is two chambered with one auricle and one ventricle air bladders are absent so they swim constantly or continuously to avoid sinking some of them possess electric organs and some possess poisonous sting example trigon paired and unpaired fins are present which are not supported by fin rays the tail fin is always heterocyclical that is unequal lobes they are called as ure- ureotelic animals as they excrete urea sexes are separate and fertilization is internal males usually have claspers on pelvic fins which helps in copulation many of them are viviparous example scolidon that is a shark or a dark dogfish and then trigon 
which is called as stingray is also the examples of this class. Class Osteocytes includes bony fishes such as carps, carp fishes, sardines, mackerels, seahorses, etc. They have a body endoskeleton. They are found in marine as well as in fresh water. They are cold blooded animals and the body is streamlined to facilitate swimming easily through water. Exoskeleton contains dermal scales like cycloid or tenoid scales. Gills are covered with operculum and are generally four pairs. Heart is two chambered with one auricle and one ventricle. Air bladders are present. They are hydrostatic organs. Fins are paired and unpaired which are supported by fin rays. The tail fin is always equal lobes or diphyseral type. These are ammonotelic animals that excrete ammonia. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external, mostly viviparous and the development is direct. Example labio that is rohu, katla, hippocampus that is seahorse. Exocortes that is flying fish, Anabis climbing perch etc. And the next class is Amphibia. They live in fresh water and on moist land. Body is compressed and cylindrical and differentiated into head and trunk. Nostrils are connected to the buccal cavity. A pair of external nads for olfaction and a pair of eyes with movable eyelids are present. Tympanum represents the ear. Skin is mostly smooth, moist, higher vascular and rich in gland. Scales are generally absent. It helps in cutaneous respiration. Amphibians mostly have two pairs of pentadactyl limbs. They are used for locomotion. Skeleton is bony and notochord does not persist. Skull is dicodylinic. Most vertebrates are proculus. Digestive system is well developed. Mouth is large and armed with teeth in the upper or lower jaw or both the jaws. Respiration occurs by gills, lungs and skin either separately or in combination. Kidneys are mesonephric and amphibians are mostly ureotelic. Cranial nerves are 10 pairs. Fertilization is usually external but sometimes internal as seen in Salamandra and Ethiopis. Class Reptalia The class Reptalia includes 9500 species that includes animals like lizards, snakes, turtles and tortoises crocodiles etc. Reptiles are the first fully adapted terrestrial animals. They are terrestrial. A few of them live in water such as tortoise and crocodile. The body may be long, cylindrical or short and broad. It is divisible as head, neck, trunk and tail. They have a dry, rough and a non-glandular skin. It is provided with horny epidermal scales or scutis. Endoskeleton is bony and the skull is monocordylinic for articulation with the vertebral column. Digestive system is well developed and the mouth is large with acrodont teeth in both the jaws. Jaws are bones. Jaw bones are movable to swallow large prey. Heart is usually three chambered with two auricles and one ventricle. The ventricle is incompletely divided by a septum. The heart is four chambered in crocodile and RBCs are oval, biconvex and nucleated. Excretion is through kidneys and the lung forms release uric acid while aquatic form excretes urea. 
Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that is poikilothermic and they hibernate only in winter. Snakes and lichens shed their scales as a skin cast. They are unisexual and show sexual dimorphism. Fertilization is internal. Most reptiles are oviparous. Example, Chemelon, Hemidactylus, Alligator, Spidon, Naga, Bangaris, Vipera, etc. Class Aves The class Aves or flying vertebrates includes about 10,052 species. An immense variety in birds is found such as parrots, pigeons, crows, ostrich, penguins, ducks, sparrows, kingfishers, etc. Birds have aerial mode of life. They spend most of the time in air. The body is usually streamlined and the aves it is represented by the presence of feathers. It is divided into head, neck, trunk and tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified that is bony which is made up of delicate and light bones with air cavities. Locomotion occurs through wings and they have modified four limbs into wings. Hen limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or calcing the tree branches. Digestive system of birds has additional chambers called as crop and gizzard. This crop is a thin walled organ used for storage of food prior to digestion. This gizzard is a stomach like muscular wall useful for grinding the food stones and grit. Excretory organs are kidneys that are metanephric in adults and the excretory matter is mainly uric and the urine is semi-solid. Birds are warm-blooded or hemothermal animals. Nervous system contains 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Sexes are separate with sexual dimorphism. Left ovary is present in females while the right one is absent. Fertilization is internal. Example, flight birds, crocus, passers, columba, cittacula, etc. Class mammals. The class mammalia includes about 5,499 species. Mammals are found in the variety of habits such as Forest, grassland, mountains, deserts, polar ice, caps, caves, etc. Some of them have adapted to fly or even live in water. The body is divided into head, neck, trunk and tails. The presence of mammary gland is the most characteristic features of mammals. Their number varies from two to many. Many glands, mammary glands are well developed in females. Skin in mammals is unique in possessing hair and it is covered with sweat glands and sebaceous gland. Exoskeleton contains feather ears called as pinnae are present and they are the skin derivatives. Endoskeleton possesses skull and vertebrae. Vertebrae are connected by intervertebral discs. Two pairs of limbs are present for walking, running, climbing, flying and swimming. Digestive system is complete. Lungs are spongy and elastic. Excretory organs are kidneys and they excrete urea. Brain is well developed with large convoluted cerebrum and cerebellum. 12 pairs of cranial nerves are present. Fertilization is internal. Embryo develops in the uterus. And the fetus is connected to uterine wall through placenta and gets nutrition and respiration. They are viviparous generally. And the parental care is highly developed. They feed their young ones on their milk and protect them from enemies. Example, Marcopus, Tyropus, Camelus, Macaca, Rattus, Canis, Felis, Panthera, Leo, Panthera, Tigris, etc. 
by this we came to the end of the chapter that is the animal kingdom